Welcome Virgo to your weekly reading. This is for the 8th to the 14th of May. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is going to be the possible energy ending the week. Now, Virgo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Right, we are going to start off here with our Queen of Cups energy, and we are just looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let us see now who or what this Queen of Cups energy is for Virgo, please. Let's see who or what is this Queen of Cups energy for Virgo. And you have got the Ace of Cups. Okay, that looks very positive, Virgo. There's somebody here who is presenting as the Queen of Cups. This could be a masculine or a feminine. It's the energy of the card we are talking about. And Queen of Cups is a very emotionally mature and wise queen. This is the queen who really has an understanding of her own emotions and the emotions and feelings of the people around her. Now, this queen, I feel, is coming forward and offering you the Ace of Cups in some shape, way or form. Now, this will be different for everybody. Ace of Cups energy is the hand of God coming in with the Cup of of abundance, the cup that flows over in something that is very significant and meaningful to us. So obviously, what this queen is coming in and offering you is going to be something that is significant to you, but it has this energy of growing and expanding into something that can be incredibly wonderful for you. So this is a beautiful energy because it can come through in any area of your life, but it has this energy of, wow, this is amazing and it's only going to grow and get better, better and better. So it's a lovely energy we're seeing beginning the week. Let's go ahead now and see who or what this King of Swords energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we now want to see who or what this King of Swords energy is for Virgo, please. Who or what is this King of Swords? The Six of Swords. Okay. Very interesting, my dear Virgos, and this will probably not resonate with everybody. I'm just going to take one more card on the King of Swords. I just want to get a better understanding who or what this King of Swords is for Virgo, please. Let's see now, who or what is this King of Swords energy? The Devil. Okay. I have a very clear idea what we are speaking about. What I am seeing here is that there is somebody in your life who is coming through as a king of swords. Now, once again, it doesn't matter if they're masculine or feminine Virgo. This is the energy of the card we are speaking about. This is a very strong person. This is a very smart person. And this is a person that works with their mental capacities. So they do not bring emotion into the equation. Whereas this Queen of Cups is all about feelings, all about emotions, this King 
is not like that at all. They are very cool, they're very calm, and they calculate everything. There is something about this King of Swords energy that has you feeling the devil energy. So it's the energy of feeling trapped, feeling chained, feeling that you really are suppressed in some way. You, my dearest Virgos, this week are going to focus on releasing yourself out of this energy. There is going to be a way. Perhaps it's even this Queen of Cups who's coming in with this offer that helps you release out of it. It really could be, but it doesn't have to be. We do see you spending a lot of time and energy on this this week. And we do see you moving away because Six of Swords is our big confirmation that you move out of this troubled area, this troubled situation, which is the devil situation, this suppressed feeling that you trapped, stuck, no way out energy, and you move on to a far better, far easier time. So whatever this is for you, please do not worry because we are being told right up front that you do release out of it. Can you see these two butterflies here? I just want you to be aware that any sighting of a butterfly this week is a very significant sign for you. It's the sign of you releasing out of this toxic energy because the devil energy affects us. It's really an energy where we feel like we bound. But if you look at them, the chains are actually quite loose you're going to find your way out. You're going to release yourself from this energy. So that is very positive to see. Okay, big energy there, my dear Virgos. Now, let's see what this Ace of Swords energy is that is sitting in the unexpected. So we now want to go ahead and clarify the Ace of Swords for Virgo, please. Let's see now, what is this Ace of Swords energy for Virgo? The Sun, Virgo. You really have a very big message coming through. First and foremost, you have got the Sun coming out twice. When I get a card coming out twice in a reading, the energetic power and the significance of the card doubles and the card that you get twice is the sun virgo so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring this week you have got the card of untold happiness sheer joy and pure positivity coming through whatever's happening for you if this relates to you in any way there is nothing to worry about. We first had our confirmation of you moving away from it. And here, with the sun coming out twice, my dearest Virgos, things are changing dramatically for you. Hand of God comes through with the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords speaks to us of clarity, a breakthrough, insight. You are going to get your answer in terms of releasing out of this energy. You're going to find your way. You're going to see the way out clearer than you have done for some time. On top of the sword, we have the victory wreath and the crown, which tells us this is going to be extremely successful. And you're going to feel this energy of, my goodness, I have won. I have succeeded in getting out of this energy. Then you have the sun setting in. This, as I mentioned previously, is our card of really feeling an unbelievable amount of positivity, hope, joy and happiness. And of course, makes perfect sense to release out of this, to move away to a much better situation. You will feel the energy of the sun. 
wonderful, wonderful confirmation that is coming through in your unexpected. So please expect this because it's coming through for you. If this relates to you, my dear Virgos, there's going to be a wonderful release. Right, let's see now what this sun energy is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from spirit. So we now want to see what is this sun energy. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, Virgo. What an incredible turn your week is going to take. You know, we have such big, huge energies here. You know, the devil energy is a heavy energy. And then we see such a dramatic turnabout from that to the sun coming out twice and your ten of cups. You're being told so beautifully and so clearly, my dearest Virgos, that this turnabout is going to bring in the untold happiness, the happiness you've been craving, the joy, the freedom and the positivity that you have been looking so forward to and wanting for such a long time now comes in. And they're letting you know more than that, you are now going to feel the energy of your Ten of Cups, which I feel was probably just a distant thought while you were involved in this energy. Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Once you release out of your devil energy, whatever that is for you, you're now starting to feel joy, positivity, possibility. Things have a whole new energy. Can you imagine all this dark energy is now replaced with all this light? No wonder you are feeling your Ten of Cups, your happily ever after energy, more than you have felt it for some time. Now just remember, Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Now everybody's happily ever after is completely different. Here we've got the happy family, the children, the castle, but we're speaking about your happily ever after now. What do you want now, Virgo? What is going to bring you joy? What is going to fill you up? This is what Divine is referring to. Incredibly positive. Now let's look at the Queen of Pentacles energy that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now, what is this Queen of Pentacles energy for Virgo, please? Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. The Four of Swords. Oh, lovely. You know, Virgo, by the end of the week, we see you coming through as Queen of Pentacles. Now, once again, it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card. Now, Queen of Pentacles is our very solid, grounded, stable queen. She sits in her very abundant landscape on a very solid throne, looking at her pentacle. The energy we get from this Queen of Pentacles at the end of the week is the energy of contentment, satisfaction, and the energy of being proud of yourself. Proud regarding the decisions you have taken, right, and the actions you have implemented because it brings you to a position where you really feel comfortable and content. Four of Swords is letting me know that you are going to be so much more relaxed so much more at ease than you have been, which makes complete sense for a long, long time because you've got yourself back. You've got all this beautiful hope, clarity and positivity coming back in. You're able to sleep well, you're able to eat well and you're able to focus on yourself, your present and your beautiful future. Incredible, my dear Virgos. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see what is Virgo's spirit animal for this week, please. What is Virgo's spirit animal? And you have got 
Number 12, Canary Spirit, Sing Your Own Song. So number 12 and the numbers 1 and 2 are your auspicious numbers for the week. Any combination, any variation of these numbers, please consider very lucky. The canary is your spirit animal. So wherever the canary comes up for you this week, this too is a blessed sign. And can you see, my dear Virgos, the canary is wearing the crown. You are wearing the crown. You are going to be singing your own song because you have taken an incredible amount of action to be true to you, to do what is right for you. You are really going to have this energy, which we saw with our Queen of Pentacles, of feeling so incredibly good about yourself. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.